this is just because of the conflict, that's why. Seeing as it is 7.30, um, the Monday, May 2nd, 2022, regular meeting of the Gardner City Council will come to order. The clerk will please call the roll. Councilor Boone? Present. Councilor Boudreau? Present. Councilor Craig Cormier? Councilor Ronald Cormier? Present. Councilor General Lowitz? Present. Councilor Hardern? Present. Councilor Heath? Present. Councilor Mapp? Present. Councilor Tyros? Present. Councilor Walsh? Present. President Kaczynski? Present. Please rise to recite the opening prayer and say the Pledge of Allegiance. Almighty God, God we, we thank thee for bringing us together this evening. Inspire us to worthy deeds and sound decisions and direct us towards the attainment of good city government. We pray to you to bless and protect all the people of our city, and so to God you inspire us so we may deliberate in unity and harmony. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Announcement of open meeting recordings. Any person may make a video or audio recording of an open session of a meeting or may transmit the meeting through any medium subject to reasonable requirements of the chairs to the number, placement, and operation of equipment used so as not to interfere with the conduct of the meeting. Any person intending to make such recording shall notify the chair forthwith. All documents and exhibits used or referenced at the meeting must be submitted in duplicate to the chair as they become part of the meeting minutes, pursuant to General Law Chapter 30A, Section 20. Is anyone here recording tonight's meeting? Reading of the minutes of prior meetings, March 7th, 2022, regular meeting minutes, March 21st, 2022, regular meeting minutes. Council Ron Cormier. Madam President, I make a motion that we waive the reading of those minutes and accept them as printed. Second the motion. Motion made by Councilor Cormier, <coughs> seconded by Councilor Walsh to waive the reading of the minutes and accept them as printed. Is there a discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. Motion passes. Public hearings. Item number 10655, a petition by National Grid and Verizon New England Incorporated, Matthew Street, to install two jointly owned poles on Matthew Street beginning at a point approximately 3,700 feet in a south direction, install two poles underneath transmission crossing. The public hearing is now open. The public hearing notice reads as follows. Notice to Abutters, April 20th, 2022. To Abutters and other interested parties, pursuant to the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 166, Section 22, you are hereby notified that a public hearing will be conducted on Monday, May 2nd, 2022, at 7.30 p.m. on the petition of Massachusetts Electric Company doing business as National Grid and Verizon New England Incorporated for permission to locate poles, wires, and fixtures, including the necessary sustaining and protecting fixtures under, along, and across the following public way. Matthew Street, a petition by National Grid and Verizon New England Incorporated. Matthew Street to install two jointly owned poles on Matthew Street beginning at a point approximately 3,700 feet in the south direction. Install two poles underneath transmission crossing. A sketch of the proposed pole location is attached for your edification. City, of, City Council of Gardner, TT Serafan, City Clerk. Does anyone wish to speak in favor of the petition? You just come up to the podium, just state your name and um, your address or the company you represent for the record, please. Uh, my name is Will Fontaine and I represent National Grid. Uh, I'm here just to uh, answer any questions that anybody may have. Uh, obviously, these are for maintaining a clearance underneath those transmission lines, which run at a very high voltage. So it's uh, mostly a safety concern that we have just to make sure that those remain at uh, a good level, um, not too close to those lines. So. If anybody has any questions about that? Any questions, comments from the committee and from the council? Thank you, Mr. Fonte. Thank you. I'm going to ask two more times. Does anyone wish to speak in favor of the petition? Does anyone wish to speak in favor of the petition? 
Is there anyone to speak in opposition of the petition? Anyone to speak in opposition of the petition? Is there anyone to speak in opposition of the petition? Okay, the public hearing is now closed. Uh, item number 10656, a petition by National Grid, Matthew Street, to install five single owned poles on Matthew Street beginning at a point approximately 1,400 feet west of the center line of the intersection of Route 140 and continuing approximately 20 feet in a north direction, install five poles to extend line for a new service. The public hearing is now open. The public hearing notice is as follows. Notice to abutters, April 20th, 2022, to abutters and other interested parties. Pursuant to the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 166, Section 22, you are hereby notified that a public hearing will be conducted on Monday, May 2nd, 2022 at 7.30 p.m. on the petition of Massachusetts Electric Company doing business as National Grid and Verizon New England Incorporated for permission to locate poles, wires, and fixtures, including the necessary sustaining and protecting fixtures under, along, and across the following public way. Matthew Street, a petition by National Grid, <coughs> Matthew Street, to install five single-owned poles on Matthew Street, beginning at a point approximately 1,400 feet west of the center line of the intersection of Route 140 and continuing approximately 20 feet in a north direction, install five poles to extend line for a new service. A sketch of the proposed pole location is attached for your edification. City Council of Gardner, T.T. Serafin, City Clerk. Does anybody wish to speak in favor of the petition? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, again, it's pretty straightforward. This is just for new service. Uh, we need to get the uh, distribution lines out there. So, uh, if anybody has any questions about that, I'd be happy to answer. Any questions from the council? Comments from the council? Council Walsh? Yes. I, we had a public service committee meeting on this. The National Grid chose not to send somebody to the meeting for reasons that remain to be explained. But in any event, uh, this is for five poles. As I read the uh, description, the first one starts 1,400 feet westerly of the, of the center line of the intersection of Route 140 and continuing 20 feet in the northerly direction. Uh, that seems to be a typo. Uh, if you have, if you like, I have a map here that shows. Well, I'm, I'm concerned about the, doc the document that we'll be acting on. And it appears that uh, the order is in error. That would allow the petition is in error, if, if that's the language on the petition. And that's what you read, as I understand it. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. And if there's a mistake, you'll have to be corrected by the petition. I expect. Thank you. Thank you, Counselor. Um, if you could submit the corrected uh, petition, or if Verizon could, um, we'll have to correct that language before it can be um, acted on. Okay. Uh, do, you, do you know what it is, or do you have um, anything you can submit to I'm, us? I'm not sure I'm not the designer on that particular job, um, but uh, I can, uh, I'll, I'll definitely find out and hopefully get that work to soon. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else to speak in favor of the petition? Is there anyone else in favor of the petition? Is there anyone in opposition of the petition? Is there anyone in opposition of the petition? Is there anyone in opposition of the petition? The public hearing is now closed. Item, uh, communications from the mayor. Appointments, item number 10664. A measure confirming the mayor's appointment of Robert Oliva to the position of city engineer for term expiring April 15th, 2025. Councilor Tyros. Thank you, Madam President. I move to refer this item to the appointments committee. Second the motion. Motion made by Councilor Tyros, second by Councilor Walsh to refer the item to the public service, I'm sorry, to the appointments committee. Is there a discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. <coughs> motion passes. Item 10665, a measure confirming the mayor's appointment of Michael Zlotnick to the position of bandstand committee member for term expiring April 15th, 2025. Councilor Tyros. Thank you, Madam President. I move to refer this item to the appointments committee. 
Motion made by Councillor Walsh. Second. Seconded by Councillor Mack to refer the item to the Appointments Committee. Is there a discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Motion passes. Item 10666, a measure confirming the mayor's appointment of Navanya Smith to the position of Youth Commission member for term expiring April 13th, 2025. Councilor Tyros. Thank you, Madam President. I move to refer this item to the Appointments Committee. Motion made by Councilor Tyros, seconded by Councilor Heath to uh, refer the item to the Appointments Committee. Is there a discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Motion passes. Item 10667, a measure confirming the mayor's appointment of Paul Leone to the position of Council on Aging member for term expiring April 13th, 2025. Councillor Tyros. Thank you, Madam President. I move to refer this item to the Appointments Committee. Second. Motion made by Councillor Tyros, seconded by Councillor Mack to refer the item to the Appointments Committee. Is there a discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Motion passes. Communications. Item 10668, a measure relative to a disclosure by a municipal employee of financial interest in a municipal contract as required by General Law Chapter 268A, Section 20B. Report from the Finance Committee. On behalf of the Finance Director. Committee, we discussed this. The uh, <clears throat> individual also has the contract for this year to operate the restaurant at the golf course. Uh, this is uh, a separate position altogether, working for the, for the grounds part of the golf course. We've accepted these in the past for other employees uh, with this kind of situation. So I make a motion that we uh, adopt the resolution or the, the, the declaration, I guess, if you will. Motion by, made by Councillor Ron Cormier, seconded by Councillor Boone to adopt the resolution is, I'm sorry, to adopt the disclosure. Is there discussion on the motion? Councilor Nerlowitz? I just want to make a note, I'll be abstaining from voting on this as a member of the Golf Commission. Thank you. Further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Motion passes. Item 10669, a communication from the mayor regarding the completed FY 2021 outside audit report. Report from the Finance Committee, Councilor General Lowitz. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, this is the annual requirement by the state to complete an audit. Um, as the mayor notes in here on the letter, it's the first time since uh, at least 2004, which is as far back as the records go with no findings or recommendations for improvements, um, which is um, amazing work. Um, I do want to make note of his final paragraph here for everyone listening at home where the mayor uh, wanted to thank the financial department heads, the city treasurer, uh, Jennifer Dimmick, uh, city assessor, Christine Kumar, director of purchasing, Joshua Cormier, and especially city auditor, John Richard, for their help in making uh, this accomplishment a reality. Um, and I would uh, move to place this on file. Second. Motion made by Councillor Darlow, seconded by Councillor Cormier to place the communication on file. Is there discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. The motion passes. Item 10670, a communication from the mayor regarding the use of ARPA funds. Report from the Finance Committee. Councillor Darlow. Thank you, Madam President. Um, as outlined in the, um, the letter again from the mayor, um, this is uh, funding from the American Rescue Plan Act and is going towards these three different grant um, and investment fund programs um, in there for small business and shuttered venue assistance grants, sign facade improvements, and regional business investment fund. Um, and I'd move to place the communication on file. Second. Motion made by Councilor General Lowitz, seconded by Councilor Cormier to place the communication on file. Is there a discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. The motion passes. Orders, item 10671, an order appropriating $11,700 from free cash to the Infotech Department cybersecurity account. Councilor Nerlowitz. Thank you again, Madam President. Um, as outlined in the uh, letter um, from the mayor regarding this order, um, the FCC had placed Kaspersky Lab, who is the city's, um, was the city's antivirus and cybersecurity provider, on their security list. Um, so we were required by federal um, law uh, to or federal order to cut our relationship um, with this uh, company uh, we have uh, got the services of a uh, new uh, company but the uh, appropriation for eleven thousand seven hundred dollars uh, was needed for the info tech department um, cybersecurity account in order to do this um, with that being said i move to pass the the order second motion made by councillor general loud seconded by councillor cormier to pass the order is there um discussion this requires a roll call vote. The clerk will please call the roll. 
Councilor Boone? Yes. Councilor Boudreau? Yes. Councilor Ronald Cormier? Yes. Councilor Dunalowitz? Yes. Councilor Hardern? Yes. Councilor Heath? Yes. Councilor Mack? Yes. Councilor Tyros? Yes. Councilor Walsh? Yes. And President Kaczynskis? Yes. Ten years? Ten years, the motion passes. Item 10672, an order appropriating $335,000 from free cash to snow and ice removal. Report from the Finance Committee. Councilor Dunalowitz? Thank you, Madam President. Uh, this is uh, the request to uh, fund our snow and ice uh, budgetary line item, which we are allowed to deficit spend in. Um, this is the amount that we need to uh, fulfill the purchase of salt, um, salt and other costs for snow removal. The reason I mentioned salt, salt was very high this year. Um, it was mentioned that we had a joint contract with 26 other communities. However, salt was not always available due to the short supply and we had to go elsewhere, which further increased costs because we didn't get our locked in rate. Um, so this is just the fun, normal uh, action we have to take every year. Uh, with that being said, I do move to pass the order. Second. Motion made by Councillor Dunalow, seconded by Councillor Cormier to pass the order. Is there a discussion on the motion? Councillor Walsh? Yes, this matter was brought up during our service committee meeting with the, the Director of Public Works. Uh, this, as the Councillor uh, Dunalow mentioned, the costs this year were higher, and it's certainly not unusual for those who may not be familiar that uh, a certain amount is funded in the budget with the expectation that more money will be needed by the end of the fiscal year. And although we are allowed to deficit spend, meaning we could spend money in this fiscal year that we don't raise until the next fiscal year or thereafter, uh, for a number of years now, uh, we haven't needed to do that. The amount needed to balance the that account budget has been appropriated from free cash as is being done uh, with this order. So I'm happy to support the motion. Thank you, Councillor. Further discussion? The clerk will please call the roll. Councillor Boone? Yes. Councillor Boudreau? Yes. Councillor Ronald Cormier? Yes. Councillor Derlowitz? Yes. Councillor Hardern? Yes. Councillor Heath? Yes. Councillor Mack? Yes. Councillor Tyros? Yes. Councillor Walsh? Yes. And President Kaczynski? Yes. Ten years? Ten years, the motion passes. Item 10673, an order appropriating $26,903 from free cash to the Park Bailey Brook Project Match One account. Report from the Finance Committee. Finance Committee is favorable. This was to, uh, <clears throat> we had prior uh, appropriated from another account, uh, which was actually ineligible at the time. Um, and this is to clarify that and to clear this up. This is the uh, phase one design funding our uh, match. And uh, the finance committee was favorable and I made the order. Second. Motion made by Councillor Ron Cormier, seconded by Councillor General Lowitz to pass the order. Is there a discussion on the motion? The clerk will please call the roll. Councillor Boone? Yes. Councillor Boudreau? Yes. Councillor Ron Cormier? Yes. Councillor General Lowitz? Yes. Councillor Hardern? Yes. Councillor Heath? Yes. Councillor Mack? Yes. Councillor Tyros? Yes. Councillor Walsh? Yes. And President Kaczynski? Yes. Ten yeas? Ten yeas. The motion passes. Item 10674, an order appropriating $162,900 from free cash to the Park Bailey Brook Project Match 2 account. Report from Finance Committee. Uh, Finance Committee is favorable. This is a continuation of this project. Uh, representatives of the neighborhood have been notified about this. This is for the age four and under playground and, and uh, associated work with that. Neighbors are on board with this. This is a match for a grant that we received a number of years ago. I think it's a 70-30 match. Uh, we were in favor of this and I move the order. Second. Motion made by Councilor Ron Cormier, seconded by Councilor General Lowitz to pass the order. Is there a discussion on the motion? Uh, Councilor Heath? Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to go ahead and um, read uh, communication that came over from the mayor about this. Um, just a couple things so that the the residents know that he uh, basically has their back. <laughs> okay. um, I want to reiterate that the funding is only for the athletic court and the playground for children under five years old. The portion of this project does not in any way relate to the previous proposal that at one point contained a soccer field. So uh, back in September, me and the mayor and a couple other residents, we had a big meeting. So the fact that he went ahead and did this, I want to make sure that People know that this is a great thing and I'm favorable for it. 
Thank you, Councillor. Further discussion? Councillor Walsh? Yes, I had, had an ancillary question. We've got several large, uh, fairly large appropriations from free cash, and customarily we receive something from the auditor indicating what the balances are. Uh, I didn't see it in the packet uh, that I received by email. By, and forgive me if I missed it, but I'm just wondering where our free cash stands. Councilman uh, Cormier has provided me with the balance, which uh, as of uh, assuming all of these orders pass, is that just over uh, $1,255,000. So we're still flush. Thank you, Councilor. <laughs> Further discussion? The clerk will please call the roll. Councilor Boone? Yes. Councilor Boudreau? Yes. Councilor Rana Comier? Yes. Councilor General Lowitz? Yes. Councilor Harder? Yes. Councilor Heath? Yes. Councilor Mack? Yes. Councilor Tyros? Yes. Councilor Walsh? Yes. And President Kaczynski? Yes. Ten years. Ten years. The motion passes. Petitions, applications, communications, etc. Item one zero six seven five. An application by GameStop Incorporated, number three seven two five, for a license to deal in secondhand articles at three seventy six Timpany Boulevard. Councilor Harder. Yes, I'd like to make a motion for item one zero six seven five to refer to Safety Committee for our study and report. Second. Motion made by Councilor Harden, seconded by Councilor Boone to refer the item to the Public Safety Committee for further starting report. Is there discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. Motion passes. Item 10676, an application by the Salvation Army Family Store and Donation Center for a license to deal in secondhand articles at 8 Union Street. Councilor Harden? Yes. I'd like to make a motion, item 10676, to refer to the Safety Committee for study and report. Second. Motion made by Councillor Harden, seconded by Councillor Boone to refer the item to the Public Safety Committee for further study report. Is there discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Motion passes. Item 10677, an application by Gardner Coins and Cards Incorporated for a license to deal in secondhand articles at 18 Parker Street. Councillor Harden? Yes, I'd like to make a motion. Item 10677 to refer to Safety Committee for study and report. Second. Motion made by Councilor Harding, seconded by Councilor Boone to refer the item to the Public Safety Committee for further study and report. Is there discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. The motion passes. Appointments Committee, item number 10631, a measure confirming the Mayor's appointment of Casey Bashaw to the position of Alternate Plumbing and Gas Inspector for term expiring March 9th, 2025. Councilor Tyros. Thank you, Madam President. This is a new appointment that uh, the appointee was unable to attend our last meeting, so we uh, respectfully ask for more time. If there's no objection, the committee will be granted more time. Item uh, Public Service Committee, item 10655, uh, we had a uh, public hearing on this earlier this evening. A petition by National Grid and Verizon New England Incorporated Matthew Street to install two jointly owned poles on Matthew Street beginning at a point approximately 3,700 feet in a south direction. Install two poles underneath transmission crossing. Councilor Walsh? Yes, uh, the service committee uh, had this on its agenda at its meeting last Thursday. Uh, this and the next item, which is a, another uh, petition that was also the subject of a public hearing uh, this evening. Uh, as I mentioned, the, uh, we were informed by the city engineer that upon contact with the National Grid representative to have somebody appear at the uh, meeting, uh, he, he was informed that uh, they will not be sending anybody to public service committee meetings. Uh, we'll see about that. Uh, but uh, as a result of that, the committee uh, chose to uh, request more time, and now in light of the uh, error in the petitions, uh, the, one of the petitions that was filed on 10656, uh, that's going to need some corrective action in any event. So for res uh, the committee respectfully requests more time. The Public Service Committee, um, if there's no objection, will be granted more time on item 10655 and 10656. The committee will be granted more time. Moving on to unfinished business and matters for reconsideration. There are none. And now into new business. Councillor Heath. Uh, it's the month of May. Um, mental Awareness Month. So everyone check your mental. Don't be Amber Heard. That's all. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you. 
Councilor Tyros? Thank you, Madam President. No new council business this evening. Thank you. Councilor Dernalowitz? Nothing new this evening, Madam President. Thank you. Thank you. Councilor Mack? I just want to remind the public that on Saturday um, at Pearson Boulevard um, Shopping Center is our the start of our annual citywide cleanup. It starts at 830, and I really hope that people will get out and participate. Um, to help clean up the city, and um, it, it's great to show your kids community service and giving back. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor Mack. Councilor Boone? Thank you, Madam President. Um, on Saturday, I sent an email to the mayor asking uh, if I can get financial information on what the cost it, it is for the chief and deputy chief to still be offline, or uh, forget the word for it, but anyways. Uh, and also what the cost is for the interim chief. And um, I haven't got any, any response. So me and the public are kind of wondering what's going on. You know, I, I would, I'd like to get some information. The public's asking me for information. So I'm hoping we can hear something soon. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Bujo. Thank you, Madam President. No new city council business this evening. Have a good night. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Harden? Nothing new this week, Madam President. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Walsh? Nothing this evening. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Walsh? Nothing this evening. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Um, I have nothing new this evening. Um, and I'll entertain a motion on the floor to adjourn after the closing prayer. It's so moved. Second. Motion made by Councillor Bujo, seconded by Councillor Boone. To adjourn after the closing prayer, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Motion passes. Almighty Father, who sees over all, as we adjourn, we thank thee for the opportunity of joint deliberation and action witness to the course of this meeting. Bless us, Lord, all those are gathered here and the people whose representatives we are, and do thou attend to our common welfare until our next meeting. Amen.